Can you talk me through the moment when they reached out to you and said, we're taking Moon Girl, this limited run, and we're, we're turning it into a TV series that's going to get exposure on Disney Channel, Disney Plus, kind of give Lunella a lot of exposure? It's a bit long. Well, you know, it was, it was very, uh, you know, it's, unfortunately, there's never like a, you know, it wasn't and now it's happening. It was like rumors, it was like a little like leak of information. Maybe, maybe, we don't know. Yeah. And like with TV and movies, like often things try to fail. But it just, it made it all the way. Uh, exactly, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Very, very lucky. I, I think uh, Lawrence Fishburne backing it probably had a big thing to do with that. And uh, so many people got on board with it and actually felt like it was something worth them putting their all into. Now, you guys obviously took the Marvel comic and really made it your own thing. If you've read the comic, this isn't that. If you watch this and then go to the comic, they're, they're not the same. You've got the comic creators here. Yes. Have you already shared it with them? Or are you nervous about... Oh, no, no. We, 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 we met with the comic creators um, and we showed them what we were doing. Absolutely. I mean, the thing about it is, and also they understood that when you translate something into a different medium, from comic book into a TV show or a movie, things tend to evolve and change just because it's a, it, it has like it has a kinetic visual and musical energy. So having Lunella's parents own a roller rink in New York City, it just made it really just, it kind of blew up her story in a way which made sense in a visual way. So yeah, but absolutely, we love the comic book. The comic book was always an inspirational springboard for And you'll just see, like when you're watching the show, there'll be some little nuggets in there for you guys, for the comic book people. Absolutely. Cool. Now, one of my favorite parts about the show is the music. Mm -hmm. um, I know you have experience on Broadway. Um, what was it like getting to come back and, and do uh, some music for the show? It's been super cool. It's executive produced by Raphael Sani, who is incredible. Yeah. Um, Steve literally went to a record signing of his at a, at a record store and said, hey, you want to be a part of this project? And he was like, all right, sure. And it's crazy. Um, I think that... That yeah. in itself is a mind blown thing. But yeah, and each in each in each villain, most of the villains have their own songs and different genre of song. Raphael to Come yeah. on, it's crazy. Now, do you ever sing as Devil Dinosaur? Yes. Is that even possible? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That is awesome. I can't wait to stream that on wherever music is streamed. Uh, uh, if they were to reach out to you and ask you to be like a guest voice character. I am. You are? Yeah. Okay, can I'm you tell in, me what? Yes, so yeah. I'm, I'm Eduardo in this show. Okay. He's like, uh, I, I based him like off my family from the Bronx. So like, I just add like a lot of like the Bronx vernacular and just like all of like the the Bronx energy that my family brings to it. So I, I always just try to like incorporate that. Can you t give us a tease of your Bronx accent? Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was good. <laughs> like all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Yep. Can't wait to hear it. I know a lot of fans know you from Star Trek Discovery. Um, is this a big deal for you entering the voice work world? Yes. I mean, I love voiceover work. I would love to do more of it. I love animated shows personally. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to be joining the Marvel Universe. <laughs> yeah. Now, the character that you play, if you had had a show like this as a kid with a character like the one you play, how much would that have meant to you? It would have meant so much to me seeing a character like Ty on screen as a kid. There wasn't really any Asian American trans representation when I was growing up. So I'm really, really grateful that I get to be that now. And I'm doing it for my inner child and for all the other trans youth out there. Now, yeah. both your characters are sort of support systems for Lunella. Uh, have you learned anything about yourself and how to be a better friend, a better parental figure through your roles on the show? I mean, yeah, I think so. I think that I love getting to learn from the characters that I play, and I think that like it. I think that the way that sometimes it's also it's like good reminders too. Like I think that the way that uh, Casey and Lunella sort of hold these mirrors up to each other and see the potential of each other and lift each other up is something that like I always try and do in my friendships in real life. But I think it's a good thing to like to look at and sort of remind yourself like of the importance because you, you see the effect that it has. Like Lunella becomes Moon Girl. Well, that is like you know this like amazing superhero, and um, it's really like the power of like community and friendship that helps make that happen, which I really yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think kind of like you do, uh, more than learning something, it's more reinforcing that feeling that I already have. Like, I come from a huge family and it's all about the family. Still, there's not a week goes by that there's not a huge family text chain where we're all helping each other or screwing around with each other, whatever it is, but we're all there for each other. So, 
Yeah. Great. The music in the show is fantastic. This is my last question. <laughs> I can't get the theme song out of my head, but what other songs are you holding on to that like you can't wait to share with the world? Mm. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. I think that everyone's going to be so happy and surprised. I think Lawrence, I know what you're going to say. Lawrence Fishburne yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, singing as the Beyonder is incredible. Mm. Yeah, and, and we got to put more Beyonder songs yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. So what, what other songs are you looking for? Oh, man, I don't see. Let's think. Um, I just love, there's a song with a um, Vanilla deals with a troll. Oh, yes. Yeah, song. That's a that's, song. Um, because I remember the first beat, so I was like, dim, dim, dim. I was like, oh, okay, okay, you know, so there's a lot of bops. Cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that, and I hope yes. we get a full album down the road. Oh, yes, oh you, you will. Do. February 10th. February 10th. Awesome. Yes. Day and date with yes. the, or no, that's, day, that's before. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually day before. and date, because we are on Disney Channel February 10th, Disney Plus the 15th. Perfect. Yeah.